In today's video, we are going to be trying something completely new, something I've never tried before. We are going to try to supplement on this glass Dollar Tree picture frame using a laminate sheet. I got intrigued to do this when I did the glass cutting board. If you haven't seen that video, make sure to check it out. So I'm intrigued to see if we'll be able to supplement onto this. So if you want to see how it turns out, just keep watching. If you're new to my channel, my name is Leslie. My channel is all about crafting on a budget. I do Cricut and supplementation videos. So if any of those things interest you, please consider subscribing, joining my YouTube family, and let me know down below what videos you want to see. If you ever want to know what I use in my videos in terms of supplies, like heat tape, um, supplementation paper and all of that just check in the description down below let's jump into the video for this project you're gonna need a Dollar Tree frame you need some heat tape you need your design butcher paper a piece of laminate sheet of thermal laminate sheet so we're gonna take off the backing take off the plastic we're just gonna work with the glass itself so make sure to bend those little hooks or whatever these are to the side. You want to make sure that your glass is clean. Let's just make sure there's no lint. Okay, we're going to grab our, our laminate and you want to make sure the same thing. Make sure there's no, oops, just make sure there's no lint on it because you're going to be able to see that when you press it. Okay, so I'm going to get some butcher paper and put it underneath. And we're going to take our, in this case, I'm going to try to use my easy press. I'm going to just do something to cover it on top. And I'm just going to press it for 10 seconds. I don't know. So there seems to be bubbles, but I can't tell if it's like the paper wrinkling or like actual bubbles. So I'm just taking my squeegee. This squeegee is from Tech Wrap. I can have a link down below if you need one. I use this a lot when I'm doing vinyl projects and stuff with my Easy Press. Okay, so now we have that. Now we're going to take our design. And I just made my design the size of the frame, made sure there was some bleeding. I probably should have added even more bleeding than I did, but we'll see. And then we're going to take, I'm going to cover it again, and we're going to press at 400 degrees for 60 seconds. So my original thought with this was that I wanted to do it on one of the floating frames from Dollar Tree, but I didn't find one of those. So I'm just going to try it on this one and see how well it comes out, how well it looks. Okay, hopefully I got all of it. So we're going to take our heat gloves. Make sure you always have heat gloves. Take it and lift up one corner. Oh, I missed. It shifted a little bit. Oh, that's going to upset me. Okay, so because this is glass, we're going to have to let this cool down for a while because it's going to be too hot to manage. Now we're just going to take our X-Acto knife and we're going to cut it out. So now we're just going to assemble it back together. And you could just put the things back and just let it. But obviously you're going to be able to see that if you like put the things back. We're going to reassemble it. 
I'm going to take the paper that it came with and I'm just going to flip it over to the white side. Take the backing, put that back on. Close it. And voila. Woo!